Okay, in this second video tutorial video, we'll see how to make a deposit and how to uh, purchase your expert advisor. So once you log in, so you complete your registration and you are logging to your dashboard, you go to deposit and you need you just put the deposit you want to make for 250 or $500, depending to the license you want to purchase. Then you click on submit. So you will be uh, redirected to a Bitcoin payment system. So you just need to copy this wall, uh, this address, which is like the IBAN for bank wire transfer. It's quite the same. And you log into your Bitcoin wallet and you send to this address, this amount, okay? Which is equal to $250. So this is the first things, or you can also make it by your phone, but you just need to, to scan your QR code and also still send uh, this amount. And after once the, um, the system will detect you have a deposit, you will see the statue will change here. If you don't know how to, to make a payment by Bitcoin, I suggest you to go to YouTube and put Coinbase payments or Coinbase wallets, and they will explain you uh, very easy. Uh, they will explain you how to do it. It's quite easy. So once the deposit is complete, then you go to expert advisors and you can purchase your license. Okay. You have the choice between this, the starter one to 250 and the advanced one, $500, $500. Once you purchase it, you just need to click purchase. It will be done automatically. You will see here on EA activation, you will have the tutorials to how to open an account with the broker. Here you have the link that you can use, okay? And you, you just need to use only this link because to be able to connect to the to, to the expert advisors, you, you have to use uh, this registration link with the brokers. So once you register, then you can make a deposit. You have the tutorial here. And once the deposit is done, you can activate your expert advisor directly through the broker. So it's quite easy to, to make it. So this is for the second video and we'll see on the next one, uh, we will we'll explain a little bit more about the back office.